I want to take a minute to show you a new submission type in Canvas, and it makes things so simple and straightforward. It has all the tools you need for students to make their thinking visible on a PDF. We have tons of wonderful PDFs that we'd love to use with students online, but it gets a little clunky sometimes. This is super simple. It's going to save a lot of time and remove a lot of barriers. So let's look at how to create the assignment and then we'll look at how what it looks like as a student. So here we are in a Canvas assignment and I've created the assignment. I've put the steps in, all the directions, and I'm going to come down and under submission type, I'm going to choose online and you may have seen this. It says student annotation and you're going to upload a file. It'll go to your drive if you're on a Chromebook. I'm on a different kind of computer and you just upload what you want them to interact with. And you hit save. Let's see what it looks like for a student. We're going to go to student view and it opens up right in the assignment. All the directions are there. So if you want to give them certain things you want them to label, if you want to give them certain things that you need them to consider while they're reading or working, a video example, anything, you can still put it right here in this assignment and the document is in the bottom. Now they can work on it right within Canvas, but I always like to kind of expand it out and make it large. Then they have the whole field to work with. Um, here are all the tools and it's really everything they need. I love this point annotation because if you want to um, have them um, point out all the acronyms that you find when you read, you could have them come through here and put pins and have them identify terms or words or examples of something. So, and it makes the text box out to the side so they can um, explain their thinking here, right? And then you could reply if you wanted, if you were in the speed grader. We've got a highlighter. You could tell them to highlight certain things, certain colors, because you've got all sorts of colors. You can give them a color code that they can highlight and they can just come in here and change the highlight. You can come in here and get a different color over and over. They've got lots of colors that you could have them color code certain things for. There are text boxes. Um, this would be good if they were trying to fill in a blank. They could just draw the text box and then um, like type, I'm going to move this, but type their answer and it's just right there that they could put their answer in a box. If they were labeling something, maybe um, they've got a drawing tool with thickness of lines and colors, um, which would be great for circling something um, or drawing a line from one thing to the other. They can put a box around something. So you could tell them to put a box around the passage or the section in the text that did a certain thing. So really every annotation tool you would need built right into Canvas. Then we are going to come down here and there is a submit button right at the bottom. This isn't a real course, so I can't really submit it, but your students will just get that submit button. And because it's a Canvas assignment, they'll get that fun confetti. I hope this helps keeps things super clean and straightforward in your Canvas courses.